Adam Levine had the kind of career in the music industry most people can only dream of. His band, Maroon 5, continues to bring in an average of $2 million a year and has sold over 135 million albums. As the face of the band, Levine is worth a staggering $160 million. Levine, of course, has purchased several enormous mansions that are worth well over a million. I mean, just look at his home in Montecito. No, that's not a frickin' hotel, it's a house. It's a custom-designed, 10,000-square-foot, Georgian colonial style that was designed for actor Rob Lowe. They managed to pick up this enormous place for $52 million. Set on 3.5 acres, the Oakview Estate contains six bedrooms, eight full bathrooms, a tennis court, a pool, a spa, a home theater, and rooms so classy you'd think they were designed for a head of state. No wonder this home is worth 52 mil, though chances are they plan on flipping it for even more. They are kind of known for that. Just look at this Palisades home that they picked up from Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck. It's a classy 1930s place that has overgrown greenery running all over it. The property has 16,000 square feet across three structures on a three-acre lot. It has 10 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, a movie theater, an arcade, a gym, and glass walls that offer a beautiful view. They are putting the home on the market for $57.5 million. 25 million more than they originally paid for it. Perhaps his biggest success in the real estate biz is his lavish Beverly Hills house. This is a primo piece of real estate that combines classic with modern masterfully. This is a home that keeps one foot in the past and one solidly placed in the future. The home was put on the market and sold in quick succession. The price was no joke either, pulling in $45 million on a $47. $7.5 million dollar asking price. Well, it turns out that he drives in better style than James frickin' Bond with a garage worth several million. For example, just look at his gorgeous 1956 Porsche 356. It's a beautiful classic that rakes up prices upwards of $413,000. Then there's his 1966 Mustang GT that's worth 46000 to add to his classics. Even more impressive than both is his Ferrari 365 GTC. That one is worth $685,000. His modern lineup includes a Porsche 911 Turbo S, not his finest Porsche with a worth of 182000 but certainly not one that would fail to turn heads. Then there's his Mercedes-Benz S550. Only in a garage like his could this baby's $114,000 worth seem like it's slumming it. Compare that to his $350,000 Rolls-Royce Don Black Badge. My favorite of his modern classics is his Ferrari Roma. This one runs upwards of $222,000. The most impressive of this collection is his truly astounding Mercedes-Benz SL300. This is by far his most expensive car purchase with a value of $1.4 million. Less than 2,000 of these cars ever hit the road, so owning one is quite the statement. I mean, it has doors that open up. Seeing that Levine has pulled together $160 million by being part of one of the biggest bands ever, it'd be safe to assume that the future would be safe for the star. By comparison, Jesse Carmichael has been with the band since they went by Karis Flowers, and he has a net worth of only around $4 million. Then there's the incredibly popular show, The Voice, that has earned him $14 million per season. And the show's gone for 16 seasons. Unfortunately, all of this wild success has hit quite the roadblock. Levine was revealed to be sliding into fans' DMs left and right, causing him to lose his TV gig and to cancel concerts. That is just never smart.